Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. Today it's seal the toilet seat time. <laughs> um, I'm going to be using Mod Podge Dishwasher Safe. Now, Mod Podge Dishwasher Safe is for use on all surfaces, indoor and outdoor. Um, it's top rack dishwasher safe, water based, non toxic, dries hard, no tack. Um, you apply the finish to the back, the surface and the back of the design element, um, and then while wet, place the design onto the surface, dry for one to two hours, add two more, two to three coats, allowing an hour to two hours to dry between, and then cure for 28 days. Now, I'm not planning to put this in the dishwasher, oddly enough. But what I am planning to do is put it back on my toilet, because my toilet has been without a lit toilet seat for quite a while now. <laughs> so, um, why I'm choosing Mod Podge Dishwasher Safe is, one, it's cheaper than resin. Two, it's... Um, something I haven't tried before and three I can apply it with a brush and stick some of these bits that got ripped um, in the cleanup so first of all um, it does say for glass ceramic or metal clean the surface with rubbing alcohol now because we've got the silicon on here I'm going to clean the surface with rubbing alcohol I'm not gonna make you watch that but just so that you know, I am cleaning it with isopropyl alcohol. This stuff is um, 98%, I think. But 94 or 91, all of them are pretty much the same with regards to doing this job. So I'm going to turn off the camera and do that and come back to you. All right, so... Well, now that that's all wiped down, um, I'm just going to check for my own awareness where those bits are that were, so we've got one bit there that started to flake, and that's the only piece that's actually flaking up, which is great, super happy about that. Um, and... Obviously, I am only going to be doing the seat, the, the lid, because the seat didn't get painted. Um, so I've got some tins underneath here, and they sit nicely just to hold it up off the edge. And um, just sit that there and hope it works. <laughs> I haven't used this stuff before, guys. Um, it does say to roll it on the table to mix it and not to shake it. Do not shake. Do not shake. Now, I'm very, I'd like to point out to Mod Podge if they are watching this, I'm very grateful that they have a safety seal. Um, when the box was delivered from Amazon, um, yeah. One of the lids had popped off, but because of the safety seal, it was all still in there and hadn't leaked out. So I am happy about that. That is very exciting to me. Um, you'll notice I'm wearing gloves. Not because it requires gloves, not because they say to wear gloves, but because I have paint on my hands and I can't get it off. But the likelihood is... Um, knowing my luck, the paint would dissolve with the Mod Podge and it would smear blue paint all over, which is not my target. So it says to use a soft bristle brush, and this is really soft and yummy, but it doesn't fit in the pot. So what I've got here is just a little um, container that I'm going to pop some out into and that will allow me to get my brush in there and I'm going to start off doing that flap now 
Mod Podge is designed, like they pride themselves on being decoupage, which is why the instructions were talking about putting putting your element on. So if at this stage you were wanting to add some embellishments, you could absolutely be doing that at this point. Um, my big um, big thing with this is to make sure that the the dishwasher mod podge goes over the edges so that it's sealing in those edges so that we're not going to get any big problems with that lifting oops sorry I'm putting my head in the shot so this stuff goes on a bit like white glue but white glue is not dishwasher safe. So I'm not sure what they do to it to make it like this. But you are supposed to cure it for 28 days. So it's definitely not a quick fix if you're going to use this for a Christmas present or a holiday present. You need to get in there and get started on that now it's not something you can leave till the last minute I will be attempting to pour using standard acrylic paint a mug and then finishing it with this now that I have it that video might take a while <laughs> as you can imagine all right let's just lift the lid up and just going around dabbing making sure that I'm sorry you can't see this but but I'm just covering those edges that are inside the lid so that it doesn't peel off from the inside because that would be very annoying as you can imagine so there we go we are one coat down so I'm going to leave that to dry. Put that up there so it doesn't stick to the seat. Leave that to dry for a couple of hours and put the second coat on. Um, and water wash. It says to wash out with Clean up while wet with soap and water. So I'm going to do that between brushes. So I'll be back. Okay, so I said just before about a cup and I just remembered that I need this amazing jug pour a while ago. And um, obviously to use it as a water jug, it needs to be sealed with something. This is just acrylic paint. And um, it's really glimmering with the gold. It's really cool. I'm really liking it. It's far better than the ugly fruit that was on it. Can you see that? Um, anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the this as my 
I'm not going to pour a mug. I'm going to use this as my example. Um, so let's get this Mod Podge working. Probably fast forward this painting job for you. But once again, I'm just going to make sure that I go um, right up over where the paint is. And um, I should really wipe this down with alcohol again, shouldn't I? Let's do that. Well, we definitely got some colour off with the alcohol, but hopefully we've got any residual silicon as well. So, just wipe that down one more time without any alcohol on that cloth. And um, so pretty. Uh, yeah. Now, I didn't paint the bottom of these, so I might actually, um, not, so only just overlap the paint so that it, um, leaves me a space to put this on top of something. And that is looking about the right size for that job. Ta-da! Great. All right, let's do it. Right, well that's a fairly even coat all over, so I will leave that one to dry as well. And let's see what magic this creates. All right, so day two, dry second coat and lots and lots of brush strokes. So. I've been looking on um, on the internet and asking lots of questions about what's required to change this. <laughs> and the one thing that came up was to use a foam brush rather than a bristled brush. So that's what I'm going to do for this next coat. And I'm hoping um, it will fill up all those ridges and... Uh, and we'll end up with a a smoother shinier result because i'm not loving this um yeah so let's give it a go this stuff keeps look at this the, this is the lid liner stuff i think i might just get rid of it and see if the lid sticks because that's gross Ugh. So once again, I'm going to decant it into my little tray. Oops, and put it. Apply it straight to the project. <laughs> Let's see what happens here. So one suggestion: if you are getting brush strokes and you can't keep putting layers on, and you cannot seem to. Um, get rid of them is to have a look at the angle which the light will be being applied to the object i.e. any windows to the side or anything like that and try and get your stripes going that way um, so that the light fills all the crevices 
and doesn't create so for example the way we've got the light here it's coming in this way and so you it will create shadows only tiny ones but enough to dampen the gloss um, and uh, so your your lights coming in and causing you know if you think of mountains and the sun comes up behind them and you live in the shadow of the mountain so we're trying to have it so that we position the mountain <laughs> in a way that it's the skinniest to the light and so it doesn't actually have such huge shadows if you could turn mountains around i'll be impressed and i'd love to hear from you <laughs> either that or change the direction that the sun's moving that's another impressive thing to do but within a house um checking what way the sun's going to go obviously if you are doing these to sell you have no idea where the person is going to put it um But, so I'm going to go back and forth across here. Yeah. Alright, let's see how it dries. Coat number two has dried on the jug as well. Again, we have got those lines happening. Um, but I'm not so worried about it on the jug. So third coat. Let's get that done. And then we should be ready to leave it for its 28 days before washing <laughs> loving the golden shimmer in this jug it's just coming into well we're in spring at the moment coming in towards summer at the moment and this will be fabulous for serving drinks or even as a, um, I quite often in the past have used this jug as a, a vase, vase, however you want to say it in your lingo. Um, one thing I'm really impressed about with this is that on the parts that don't have any paint, where it's just glass it's drying so clear that I cannot actually see whether or not I've painted it with this so it's always a good thing when you can paint a glass and it comes out looking Fantastic. All right, well, this foam brush is not giving me non stripes, that's for sure. I don't know any tips on how to get non stripes. Please write them in the comments. I seem to be useless at this. <laughs> Just trying to get the stripes going the same way so it looks like it's Somehow even. 
All right, last dry time. Okay, so it's dry. It hasn't had its 28 days. I promise not to put it in the dishwasher for 28 days. <laughs> but I'm actually not very pleased with this result, to be honest. Um, the, the brush strokes are there and very clear. Um, I have so lost my beautiful shiny thing. I think the only way I'd get that back is by resining it over the top. Um, if any of you have any suggestions on how anybody can do this better with this stuff, this Mod Podge stuff, never used Mod Podge before actually, um, please let me know. Um, but I am going to also show you the jug which as well has also got lovely lines in it not excited about that at all I certainly won't be using this on my stunning vase 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 but it does have a gloss it has bought the gold and the copper out in the colouring I am pleased about that it looks pretty cool, funky, different, um, different on depending which angle you look at it. Of course, as with any pour, I do like it. I like the pour a lot. I don't like the brush marks. So I'm going to um, leave this for 28 days. And I will do an update video in a month's time after I have, well, of dishwashering the jug. Um, it's a bit big really to put in the top of the dishwasher. And I have individual dish drawers, so that you know, top tray of the dishwasher is going to be interesting. But... I will do it and I will try it and I will see I will show you the result so subscribe so that you get a notification when that video shows up and once it is up I will tag it in the end of this video for you to go and check it out so please 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 any feedback on how to deal how to not get those brush marks um, they are not pretty I don't like them they're not not my style at all so feedback please any suggestions would be awesome I adore you all and I will see you in another video bye bye